Finding acceleration. We have just learned how to determine velocity from a ticker tape. Now we are going to continue our lesson on how to determine the acceleration from a ticker tape. Acceleration of a motion can be determined by the equation a equal to v minus u over t, where a is the acceleration, v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity, and t is the time taken for the velocity change. One important thing that we need to know in finding acceleration is we need to give extraordinary attention to the time taken. Finding time for velocity change is different from finding time for displacement change. Keep in mind that the t is the time taken from the initial velocity to the final velocity, but not from the first dot to the last dot. We're going to discuss this in the very next slide. Finding acceleration. Continue. In previous slide, we have learned that we can determine acceleration from the equation a equal to v minus u over t. The initial velocity u can be determined by measuring the length of the first tick and then divide it by the time taken, one tick. The final velocity can be determined by the same way. Usually, students will have no problem with this step. Problem arises when we want to find the time taken. There are five ticks from the first dot to the last dot. However, this five ticks is not the time we want. As we mentioned in previous slide, the time taken is the time between the initial velocity u and the final velocity v. However, the problem is, where are u and v? Well, since u and v are average velocity, hence they are in the middle of the length we measure for finding u and v. For example, u is in the middle of this 5 cm and v is in the middle of the 1 cm. As a result, the time between u and v is 4 ticks. This step is important in finding acceleration by using ticker tape. In coming slides, we will show a few examples of how this step is done in practice. Example 2. The ticker tape in figure above was produced by a moving toy car up a tilt runway. If the ticker tape timer produced 50 dots per second, find the acceleration of the toy car. Click on the answer button to proceed. To find the acceleration, we need to determine the initial velocity, the final velocity, and the time taken for the velocity change. In first tick, the time is 0 0.02 second and the displacement is 5 cm. Therefore, the initial velocity is equal to 5 cm over 0 0.02 second equal to 250 centimeter per second. In the last tick, the time is also 0 0.02 second but the displacement is 1 cm. Therefore, the final velocity is equal to 1 cm over 0 0.02 second equal to 50 cm per second. In order to find the time taken, we need to decide where the u and v are. As we mentioned in previous slide, u and v are in the middle of the two dots. Therefore, the time between u and v is 4 ticks equal to 0 0.08 second. Substitute the value of u, v, and t into the equation. The A is negative 2,500 cm per second square. The negative sign suggests that this A is a deceleration. Example 3. The figure shows a strip of ticker tape depicting the motion of a moving trolley down an inclined plane. Find the acceleration of the trolley. Frequency of the ticker tape timer is 50 Hz. Click on the answer button to proceed. Initially, the trolley took 5 ticks to move 5 cm. The displacement is 5 cm and the time is 5 ticks or 0 0.1 second. Substitute these numbers into the equation. The initial velocity is 50 cm per second. At the end of the ticker tape, the trolley took 5 ticks to move 10 cm. Therefore, the displacement is 10 cm and the time taken is 5 ticks or 0 0.1 second. From the calculation, we find that the final velocity is 100 cm per second. Now, 
It is the turn to find the time between U and V. Where is U and V? Is it still between the two dots as in previous question? The answer is no. Since we use 5 ticks for our calculation of U and V, hence the U and V must be in the middle of the 5 ticks but not in the middle of the two dots. Therefore, U is in the middle of the 5 cm and V is in the middle of the 10 cm. After deciding the location of U and V, we can start counting the number of ticks. As we can see, there are 10 ticks between U and V, therefore, the time taken is 10 ticks or 0.2 seconds. Substitute the value of U and V into the equation. The acceleration is 250 cm per second square. 